Well, hello there. My name is Slior Bolado, and today we'll be talking about power calculation. So shuck away and let's zap it all. Alrighty, have you ever been in a situation where you're taking a very nice and hot shower and all of a sudden you lost power to your whole house? Maybe because your sister was using the hair dryer at the same time as she had the heater on. Well then, that means that the power system got overloaded and the whole thing just tripped. So let's just say that in your house you can do only 2400 watts of power and the hair dryer uses 1500 watts. The heater 1000 watts. So now you have 2500 watts of power, therefore using more than it can actually handle. So with the lights is the same thing and because lights Incandescent ones in particular suck a lot of juice. Juicy, juicy. The way they work is, the more wattage they have, the more heat they will generate and the more light you will get. So in our previous example where we had 10 650 watts for NELS and 5 750 watts ERS, that would come up with a total of 10,250 watts. Now that's a lot. Most power outlets that you are used to can only handle 2,400 watts. Also, with these lights, you will not just plug them into the wall. Because as soon as you do that, the light will be turned on at full power. And that is not a safe practice for you to do at all. So do not plug in any incandescent light into a wall socket. Oh, so Leo, um, where do I plug them in? I'm glad you asked. The dimmer. That is where you plug them into. Because now the dimmer, as the name suggests, it will dim the means that now you can dim just a little bit to warm them up before using them at full power. Now, how does a dimmer work? Well, you plug in your light into the dimmer, at least the one we picked anyways, so we can handle all of that power. And now that it's plugged in, we can plug in a DMX cable from our lighting console to the dimmer so we can control the dimmable feature for that particular light. But don't worry, we will talk more about this during our signal flow video. So in order for you to run all of these lights, all of these incandescent lights safely, you use a dimmer. And before we start doing some power calculation, I would like to mention the three phase distro system as well that we had in our gear list. And just so you understand a little bit better, a three-phase distro will ensure and provide a better power distribution than the regular wall sockets we're used to. The one we picked is a Jans PDS-12R2, okay? And that will give us 40 amps per phase. So the four sockets at the back of the distro will be one phase from one to four, the sockets from five to eight will be phase two, and the sockets from nine to 12 will be phase three. A bit more about it towards the end of the video. So we can start doing some calculation to ensure your gig will have enough power for you to run it safely. Now we have been talking about wattage, power, but I'll mention the ampere or just amps as well, which is the current, and the volts, which is the voltage. Now note that today's video is not about Ohm's law. This is so you understand how to calculate all of the power requirements for your show. 
Now, a regular wall socket that you have in your house would be 240 volts, a current of 10, 10 amps, making it 2400 watts of power. So one can say volts multiplied by the amps equals watts. So again, V multiplied by A equals watts equals watts. And that is what I want you to take from this for now. Huh? See what I did there? Now, before we get to the scenario here, I want to tell you the difference between a three-phase distro and a dimmer. You only plug incandescent lights into a dimmer, such as the 650 watts Fresnels and the 750 watts ERS from our gear list. Nothing else, okay? I'm watching you. The dimmers will have their own power specifications. So read the equipment specs beforehand so you know exactly how much it can handle. Everything else, as I like to call hot power, such as when you plug in your computer to the wall socket, iPhone chargers, lighting consoles, LED lights, moving lights, then you plug them into the three-phase distro system. Just wanted to clarify that a little bit. Now let's get back to our three-phase distro. Yay! This one in particular that we picked from Jens has three phases that can do 40 amps per phase. So if voltage is 240 volts multiplied by 40 amps, we then get 9,600 watts per phase, giving a total of 28,000 800 watts. So let's have another scenario here with some lights and equipment. Here we have 2250 watts LED Fresnels, not the incandescent ones, okay? Let's not get our carried away here. Equals 5000 watts. 2200 watts LED ERS equals 4000 watts. And then we have two 300, 350 uh, watts Granite to lighting console, which is then going to equal to uh, 700 watts. Having a total of 9,700 watts. So you could put all of the LED Fresnels and the LED RS into one phase. One Grenade to and the last Grenade console into the second phase, right? Wrong. <laughs> yes, technically you can do that, but now that means that all of your plugs, all of your cables are going to be clustered together into those four sockets. And also, you're too close to reaching its maximum allowance per phase. So what you should be doing here is to give a 20% gap for safety. So in your house, for example, instead of having all of the stuff in your house reaching almost 2400 watts all the time, you should be aiming for that 20% margin coming up to 1920 watts only. So for our example, instead of having 9600 watts per face, Let's give it a safety margin of 20% and assume now that our total per phase is actually 9,600 watts multiplied by 20% equals 1920 watts. So 9,600 watts minus 1920 watts equals 7680 watts. So that means you can distribute all of your lights throughout the three phase distros that you have available for you. Um, avoiding all of the clustered, as I mentioned uh, before. So that's pretty much it um, for today. Okay, I just wanted to uh, touch base with you guys as far as uh, power calculation goes. Hopefully this made a little bit more sense. All right, I might actually do another video with a little bit more in depth, if, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, but for now, <laughs> I did it again. Um, we will, we will keep it simple.
All right, so no matter what you do out there, don't assume anything, okay? Before you plug anything anywhere, ask questions. Just make sure you're doing the right thing and you're playing it safe, okay? Uh, this is a very, uh, very serious matter. So no matter what you do out there, please do it safely and make sure you have the necessary power for all of your requirements, okay, without overloading your system. So thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one. The next one we're going to be talking about uh, signal flow. Uh, that's one of my favorites, and um, I'll see you then. Yeah.